Hey guys, I'm back. Wanted to update you guys on what's going on with the Badlander build. Been pretty busy recently with uh, all of the intakes I'm selling and uh, a new baby girl. Um, so, trying to get some stuff down in the garage every once in a while. Uh, been buying a lot of parts and uh, just kind of stocking it away until I had a time to uh, be able to get to it. Today, I am replacing the input shaft on my 241 for a 32 spline. Uh, pretty simple process really. I tracked down um, the correct input shaft and I'm uh, going to do that right now. So it's pretty simple really. Um, once you get the whole transfer case disassembled, um, you get the planetary out and uh, the next part is to take out the snap ring. So I'll do that real quick right now. whole thing, this whole planetary comes right out. You have the lower and upper kind of wear rings, I guess you can call them. And with a correct 32 spline input, just like that. Set these puppies back in and uh, so it's pretty much that simple. So after putting the new 32 spline uh, input gear, this will be the actual driver drop transfer case. So my delta will be in front of it and I need to, the output of that to be 32 spline. So what this is, this is an intermediate shaft for the transfer case. This is the output side, but it'll be sticking out of the back of the, the doubler. The doubler is going to be half of a case of, of the, the other 241 I have. And so that'll go into this. This will be sitting inside of there. And uh, this right here is actually part of the uh, shaft, actual current shaft, down inside there, one of the range selector. And this, it's like that. So basically I'm adapting the current doubler transfer case back behind me to the new input of the the driver drop transfer case. Well, what I'm also going to do today is uh, add a sight glass or a sight tube to know what uh, level the oil is inside of the transfer case. So I'll put a hole probably up here and uh, probably down here and it'll just kind of sit just kind of like that. Uh, so that while I'm wheeling, and if I ever have a problem or ever want to just check, I'll just climb up onto the truck and I'll see the, the fluid floating around in here wherever it needs to be. Um, so um, I don't think I'll have any issues with that, but uh, I'll uh, get this started and uh, come back. All right, so now that I've got both of my elbows in, they're taped, sealed, I cut my hose to length, all I gotta do is uh, just tighten her up. So like I said, this is gonna allow me to see what's going on inside the transfer case, at least for the fluid level, and you know, even the fluid color. Um, while I'm out wheeling, or just, you know, in town, if I'm just driving around and I sense something going wrong, or just wanna feel like checking it, So, just need to that. These are compression fittings for this 3 8 hose. This clear vinyl is rated for transmission oil, so it won't deteriorate or break or cause any issues.
So this is just the uh, VSS cover. And uh, as you can see, it won't interfere with anything going on here. It's got a little nub here that I missed. So, there you go. Hopefully uh, I can work on it tomorrow and um, get this at least buttoned up and then start working on the doubler back there. Um, I'll bring it out here on the workbench and uh, see how much I can get done. So uh, stay updated, um, subscribe to the channel and give me a like. Um, I also have my website up, badlandindustries.com. I've got all the intakes you can see back there um, for the uh, H3s, the Colorado's Canyons, and the Zuzu I series. Um, I'm working on the brand new Colorados, the 1516s, and I'm also working on um, some intakes for the Sierra Silverados um, 02 on up. So uh, stay tuned and uh, see you guys in the next video.